Hello. In today's lesson, we're looking at Chapter 11, Section 5, Areas of Circles and Sectors. Our objectives are to find the area of a circle and a sector of a circle and use areas of circles and sectors to solve problems. Sector of a circle. A sector of a circle is the region bounded by two radii of the circle and their intercepted arc. In this picture over here, this little piece of my pie, the dark red, is the sector of this entire circle. So we're only looking at a part of a circle versus the whole circle when we talk about a sector of a circle. Theorem 11.7, area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi times the square of the radius. Or we could say that area is equal to pi times radius square or pi r square. Example 1, using the area of a circle. A. Find the area of a circle with center P. We're given that the radius for A is 14 centimeters. So use the radius is equal to 14 in the area formula. And plug it into the formula. So pi times radius, which is 14 squared. 14 squared is 196 times pi, which is approximately 615.75. So the area is 196 pi, or about 615.75 square centimeters. B. Find the diameter of circle with center Q. We're given that the area is 125 inches square. We know that the diameter is twice the radius. So we can plug the area into the formula area equals pi r square, isolate our radius, and then multiply that by 2 to get the diameter. So first step is divide both sides by pi and you get 125 divided by pi is equal to radius square. 125 divided by pi is approximately 39.79. To find the radius, take the square root of 39.79 and we want the positive square root and we get that the radius is approximately 6.31. The diameter is 2 times 6.31 or approximately 12.62 inches. All right, checkpoint problems number one, two, and three are yours. For each of these problems, find the indicated measure. In problem one, find the area of the circle when your radius is three inches. In problem two, find the area of the circle when your diameter is 25 feet. And in problem three, find the diameter of the circle when your area is 248 millimeters squared. Theorem 11.8, area of a sector. The ratio of the area A of a sector of a circle to the area of the circle is equal to the ratio of the measure of the intercepted arc to 360 degrees. So we can write the formula to find the area of a sector as a ratio. Area over pi r squared, that is the formula for area of a circle, is equal to the arc measure over here, so the measure of arc AB, over the entire measure of the circle, which is 360 degrees. When you cross multiply to isolate A, you will get that A is equal to the measure of the arc, AB, times pi r squared. The way that I remember this formula is as part over whole. So it's part of the arc measure over the entire circle measure. And since I'm finding the area, I'm going to multiply it by pi r squared. Example 2, finding the area of the sector. Find the area of the sector. So we're going to find the area of the shaded region over here in the circle. The sector, APB, intercepts an arc whose measure is 110 degrees. Since angle APB is a central angle, then I know that the measure of arc AB is also 110 degrees. And we also know that the radius is 7 units. To find the area, we're going to take part of the circle, which is the measure of arc AB, over the entire circle, which is 360 degrees, times pi r squared, which is the formula for finding the area of an entire circle. We know that the measure of arc AB is 110 degrees, divided by 360 times pi times 7 squared. Simplify these values by plugging it into a calculator, and you get that the area of the sector is approximately 47.04. So the area of the sector is about 47.04 square units. All right, checkpoint problems number four, five, and six are yours. For each of these problems, find the area of the shaded region. 
Example 3, finding the area of a region. In this problem, we have to find the area of the shaded region. The shaded region consists of a rectangle and two sectors of a circle. The rectangle has a length of 12 inches and a width of 8 inches. The radius of the circle is 4 inches. The way we got 4 inches is we know that the diameter of the circle is going to be the same length as the width of the rectangle. To find the radius, I'm going to take 8 and divide that by 2 to get my radius is 4 inches. To find the area of of the shaded region, we need to find the area of the entire rectangle and then subtract out the two unshaded sectors of our circle. The area of a rectangle is easy. We know that it's length times width, so it's going to be 12 times 8. The area of one of its unshaded regions is going to be the arc measure, which is equal to the central angle measure, which is 108, divided by 360 times pi times your radius, which is 4 squared. The reason why I multiply by 2 is because I know that this angle over here and this angle over here are vertical angles, so the measure of both of these unshaded sectors are 108 degrees. So I can find the area of one sector and then multiply by 2. 12 times 8 is 96. 108 over 360 simplifies down to 3 over 10 times pi times 4 squared, which is 16. We can simplify this expression further, so we get 96. 2 times 3 times 16 divided by 10 gives us 48 over 5 times pi. Plug this into your calculator and you get this as approximately 65.84. So the area of the shaded region is about 65.84 square inches. Alright, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.